lot, a lot of really cool bands in Seattle because you know there's not that big hype and people are getting together saying you know okay we'll look like this and we're gonna play like this and then we're gonna get signed. People just get together in the garages and jam with friends. Get the real jam and bands in Seattle are real bands. It's so been like that for quite a time. Not here, dude. Like Lane said, it's so. Uh, Something that's, that's been going on for a while. I think it's, it's, it's uh, now caught on, and then after now it's, uh, it's pretty much the record labels pretty much ate up everybody, and then we still move on to another town. You know, like yeah. Probably Goober, Idaho is the next big rock. You know? Those yeah. are a show every night in LA, but in Seattle there's like once, one every month, two a month, something like that, so the fans get more pumped up, and they're just more supportive to their, to their local bands. If they like you, if they like you, they really like you in LA, it's like they like you but they don't want to admit it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're okay. Wait, one yeah. thing. We rock for Jesus. We rock for rock Jesus. Jesus. And we're huge in Guam. Yeah. Guamies, Guamies. Love us. So, get there's one Guam. thing I like all the other bands to know. We are the worst smelling band. Yeah, we smell ever, worse ever. than you. Hey, this is Lane. Sean! Malice and Chains. Metal. Hanging out here in beautiful Guam. It's pretty nice here. The weather's nice. Nice. We uh, just shot our second video for CSR. We're going to try and meld the two together. Gel. Meld. You know, it's got a gel. And uh, first one sucked. This one so might I suck too. <laughs> Who knows? I don't care anymore. I don't even like the fucking song. Fuck it. Our hairdos weren't good enough for the first one. The videos. So we got here to LA. We got weave. We all got weaves. And uh, <laughs> and I got the new tits. Rest of the look at this. Huge. It's still sore. And real firm. We like to tour. We like to not bathe and change our clothes. We're good at it. What do you think? I've been wearing the same pair of underwear since 87. Damn proud of it. We played a lot of the places that we play with Van Halen on this first leg with the Clash, so it would be kind of cool coming back around. Van Halen could go for quite a while, and uh, so we're just going by ear. We'll probably, before this, we'll probably have to go back. We'll go back, I'm sure, on this album again. That's what we've kind of been hearing, and we haven't been to Japan. We'll probably go to Japan. Australia. So Van Halen could go on a while. What does that mean? Like you're could go on. you're solidified for a certain number of days, but after that, it's it's up in the air. Each leg, they'll uh, tell us if they want to keep us on, and it could go up to nine months. Wow, I think six months. What? How did you get all these offers? I mean, it seems like you must be just a, <laughs> a big favorite among all these. My fucking knees. knees. Spend a lot of time on your knees. A lot of times. There's buy-ons, you know, where you gotta pay to go on a tour. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you gotta go pay, spend your own money to go on tour. I don't know. To get seen by, you know, a lot of people who buy onto a big tour. That's uh, we have fucking weak. We haven't had to do that yet. You got one album and we've been touring on it for a year, and we got all these other songs that we can't really play because nobody knows them. And uh, playing that one album for another year would probably, I mean, you'd have to. You'd have to hit me with a ball peen hammer in the back of the head and take me out of my misery. Yeah. We'll play with anybody. We don't. We're not into as long as we get to play our music, you know. We won't play with Trickster or Nelson, and we won't play with Slaughter. Slaughter? Dana Strum. He's not a goofball, and we won't play with um, King of the Hill. Because that guy has a faggy mustache and blue eye contacts. You are a total fag. Sorry. There's a lot of, lot of confusion on the road. I mean, it's, it's pretty hellish lifestyle. Gives you a lot to think about, a lot to write about, a lot of ideas. I think no. releasing the dark side releasing depression frustration is what we're all about that's what we're trying to do through our music and i think it you know it affects people in a positive way it can give them something to relate to and they can release the same 
demons. Ooh, spooky. We only eat dark meat too, so I mean, it's all everything we do dark. No, it's the garb. I mean, I'm a dreary guy. I'm a, I'm a down guy. I'm a downer. Where the down guys go? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Blatantly, we're Satanists. So I mean, long live Satan, 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 Satan. Hey. We've had like probably you know two months, two months, months, two and a half months off since the album came out. But I mean, you go home for more than two weeks, you just go fucking crazy. You're just sitting there, and you're so used to every day you have something to do. Go, go, you get go. up and you got to go, go, and it's like gives you a feeling of worth. And then you go home and you just sit around and gives me a feeling of girth. I always feel really fat when I'm in the room. You go home and you just sit around, and it's great for a week or two, and then it just gets really boring and start drinking more and whacking more and, and whacking and drinking and smoking and whacking. Just I can't do 